Here's a quick tip of how to get these volume trails that look a bit like the schematic of an electronic circuit. We're going to modify a curl noise so it will yield a vector field that will give us these angled trails. So in Houdini, let's drop down a GeoSop, dive in, delete the standard geometry and create a volume. Let's make it a vector volume, call it vel for velocity and scale it a bit bigger, say 4 by 4 by 1. Like this, let's dial up the resolution just for testing purpose. Let's keep this pretty low res so it's going to be quicker and we can dial this up later. After that, I'm going to attach a volume bob. And within that volume bob, I'm going to drop down our trusty old curl noise, wire up the position and bind export this to our vector called velocity. Like this, let's attach a volume slice to visualize this. That looks like a vector field. Okay, let's drop down a grid, make it four by four as well, and a volume trail. We wire up the grid points and our curl noise. Okay, that looks like our standard curl noise. Let's dial up the point density a bit. You know that trusty old curl noise. Let's dive in here and dial down the CFL a bit so my lines get less jaggy. So how are we going to manipulate this curl noise into yielding these right angles and 45 degree angles? The trick is, after the curl noise sub, we're going to attach a normalized sub first, which will result in our individual vectors having always a length of 1. And after that, we'll attach a round to integer sub and set a signature to a vector. And what we're doing here is this. We take a vector with arbitrary components and round them. And as our vector has been normalized before we round them, all our components will lie in the range of minus 1 to 1. So this is just a selection of examples that could result from our rounding. So when we look at the 2D case, these are all the directions my vector can take after rounding, which when we look at our volume grid will point straight towards the adjacent voxels in our grid. Okay, the only thing we're missing here with the normalization is the actual vector length. So let's introduce that back in. Let's get the length with a length stop. And after we round it, our normalized vector, let's just multiply it with the previous vector length. Like so. This is everything we need to build those electronics schematics traces. Everything that's left to do is setting up the familiar curl noise settings in here and adjusting the volume trail parameters out here so you can get images like those. Rather quick and straightforward tip today. Hope you had fun with this. If you create any artworks with this, please just shoot us a message. We're always intrigued to see what you guys come up with. And it's cheers and goodbye.